I really welcome to the next episode in my updated for 2024 beginner's guide to Daisy console community server modding on Nitrado. Although everything I'm talking about, well, almost everything applies to PC as well. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you a technique to help the changes that you make to your server happen faster. So sometimes you'll make a change, maybe to have something like guns to spawn in with magazines or items to spawn in pristine. Um, something like that, but it won't it won't be happening and you'll be walking around testing on your server and you'll be going well Why hasn't this happened yet? So I'm going to show you a technique to help that to, to take place before we start though Just remember in the description below this video There's a link to this playlist which has all of these updated videos in so you can choose which subject you want to look at Also, there will be a previous and a next link as well because I'm trying to record these videos in Something of a logical order. So if you're new to this and you've just got a server you can work through them in the order that you may well want to as you're actually doing the modding yourself to your server or maybe if you want to refresh and you're thinking oh what are these things that i can do to my server you can go through them that way so anyway let's go over so go over to nitrado log into your account find your server and we want to want the web interface so you click on the web interface that'll take us over to the dashboard of your server then scroll down and we'll, we're after the file browser, so click on file browser there. And then scroll down and go into the missions folder. So XB missions for Xbox, PS missions for PlayStation. I think it's just missions on PC, isn't it? And then this is a Chernerous server, so we're going to click on Chernerous. If it's a Livonia server, it would say Enoch. If it's the new ser uh, map that's coming out later on this year, maybe it'll say Frostline or something else. But you know, so exciting, isn't it, when that comes out. But this is Chernerous, so let's click on that one. And then we want to go on to the DB directory, or the DB folder. Now normally, I don't recommend editing the XML files or the JSON files on the website, but this is a very small file, and we're not going to be making too many complicated changes, so the chances of you making a mistake aren't that high. Now, globals.xml is a fascinating file, and very, very powerful. It does some very cool stuff. But what we're after here is this line here idle mode countdown so what this means is this is the time it takes for the server to kind of go to sleep when everybody logs off because what happens is you'll make a you'll make an edit to your server files say something like i want all the guns to spawn in with magazines and you're like brilliant and you'll upload that to your server and uh, you'll restart your server, and you're like, great, great, great. And you'll log in, and you'll look around, and you'll find lots of guns that don't have magazines in. And you'll be like, oh, wait a minute, these... why hasn't this happened? Have I done something wrong? And you go back and look at your files, and you go, well, it all looks right. I've been on Scale Speeder's video tutorial, and I've done exactly what it's ha why it's happened. And you'll probably leave a comment on my video saying, this doesn't work. <laughs> something like that. And you'll be like, oh, I'll be like, oh, right, okay, yeah, okay. Um, but what's actually happened is when the last person leaves your leaves your server the server goes to sleep and the way that daisy changes things is it only changes things when people are on the server so when people are wandering around the server on a bit of the server where the people aren't it'll look at the um the loot it'll look at the guns and go okay that gun's been there a while it will take it away and then it will see your new code and go oh a gun should have a magazine on it now or a scope and it will spawn that one in and it will slowly do that over the server uh, where people aren't but as soon as people leave the server goes all right time to go to sleep time to save energy and it'll go to sleep and those changes stop happening so if you are the only person on your server because it's a new server and you're testing it often changes they just they just won't they won't happen I um, mean, it can get very frustrating. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go idle mode countdown. So this is the countdown. How long does the server keep working before it it sort of um, turns off? So what we're going to do, instead of being 60 seconds, we're going to change that to 600 seconds. So instead of being one minute, it's 10 minutes. So we're going to give the server, when everybody's left, 10 minutes of extra time when it's going to be going through and it's going to be um, still working and still chundering along and then changing things as, 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 as it happens. You could make it a bit longer. Don't make it too long because obviously you're just wasting electricity when you do that sort of stuff. And all you need to do is hit save and then hit restart and then that change will 
come into effect. So you should find that things start to change on your server a lot quicker than they did before or actually start to change as well. Um, if we scroll down a little bit as well, one of the things that is also fairly cool to change is if we go, where's the return, spawn, respawn, loot spawn, uh, spawn initial type. Here we go, time login and time. So time login, I like to change that to five seconds so that you can get into the server faster. Time log out, you can, you, I think you can reduce that to 10 seconds, but it does have a minimum. And so that means you can get off the server faster. However, if you've got a hardcore server where you don't want people to combat log, so you don't want people to get into a gunfight, think they're gonna lose and just log off so they don't have to finish the fight, then you want may, may want to make that longer, say make it 60 seconds or something like that. Um, I'll go through some of the other settings on this in a later video, but remember when you've made a change, hit save, hit restart, and those changes will take effect. And hopefully you found this useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.